here, good day viewers. My name is Daniel Fugi. This is uh, my first video podcast, and today I'll be taking you on how you can connect your Votron Energizer to a solar panel. Now, the issue installers have these days is they are always complaining about oh, say, yes, uh, how do I get an energizer which is cost effective and which is a rocket which um, which can really do my job and I, and, I, and, I, and I just feel this is a problem that most of us we don't even know and I'm introducing you to this today it's a Voltron uh, first energizer which is VT Defender 1 it is very very effective now let me take you through all that we have today today we'll be connecting the system to the, to the solar panel I already have um, here with me this is a source from my solar panel you have this positive and this the negative my solar panel is outside but I can bring that here okay then we have our batteries here this is um, a 7, 7 8 12 volt uh, battery and we have our siren here we have our solar panel is a P, P, a, a, sorry a charge controller here which we need to use for this and um, you can also have your meter just to confirm every of the connection before putting them to test okay right away let's go now the first step of what i need you to know is unboxing this that is your energizer by the time you're unboxing this i think it, it comes with uh two remote controls come with a power plug but that we are eliminating it because i want something because i want something that is very effective which you use at the end of the day you will say yes you have a good deal with it now let's go this is a cable from the, for, from the solar panel I'll be putting this here right away but first you might need to open unscrew this there are screws behind this where you use your screwdriver but for, because of time I may not want to do all of that which I've done then so as to bring the lead of your battery terminal this energizer can actually accept uh, the 6 volt battery which can be embedded in it but for a longer or a longer lasting battery i decide to use a 7 ah 7 ampere hour battery which is a 12 volt which will actually work which serves gives you a better battery bank now this is what i did I used my soldier iron to melt this part of it and I brought this the lead of the battery. You have the positive and this is the negative. Now from my charge controller, this is a positive. Now I'll take this positive to the positive here and connect this. I can ring it with my plier. Okay. I take to the negative from the charge controller that this is the power for the battery you see it's not the load most times it is advised, advisable to use the battery yes this is it now I connect negative to the negative and um, maybe this is done now because at the long run this is going to the battery terminal but right here today, I have a, you can use a, what's the name, you can crimp a battery terminal head to, a, head to this, but I will use this, permit me to use this for today. Now, this, the positive, to this, the positive from your charge controller and your energizer, maybe I'm done with that, securely tape it to avoid short circuiting. Alright, and for the negative, I have also um, a terminal. We have this for the positive. Now, your positive from your energize, energizer and battery lead goes to the positive of the battery uh, terminal of the charge controller, and the negative also goes to the negative of the 
of your energizer. Alright, then we can have this on the battery terminal. see the indicator for the power is up but not yet on that's it then for the siren this is a terminal for your siren it comes with this and there's a port this is your siren port where you can connect your siren to here so here we here I'm going to connect yeah. now we have this First note, the first is still off. Not on, it's on, the power is on, but not yet on. Okay, now I need to connect my solar panel. Let me take this off and use this to secure the. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in our next video. Do have a nice day. Bye for now.